I don't have time to take you everywhere we'd be able to use a tractor, but I'd like to be able to take you on a quick tour of at least a couple of spots in the Greater Worcester Land Trust property files that would greatly benefit from a tractor. Let's go take a ride. This nook at the Donker Farm is where they used to keep the tractor. It allows them to keep track of things for the animals in terms of both cutting back the fields and moving stuff around and even moving the animals themselves around. This nook has been here empty, waiting for a tractor to be able to keep track of the animals. And that's where you come in. Welcome to Cascade West one of the Greater Worcester Land Trust properties. This is where we do most of our timber harvesting. If you've seen posts or signs on some of the Land Trust properties around Greater Worcester, they came from up here. This is one place where having a tractor to bring them down into the Tatnik Valley would be incredibly helpful for our volunteers. Welcome to Southwick Brook. This cart path is the primary access for the property. You notice it's grown in, as is the field beyond it. This is the public access. I'd be willing to bet there are a couple ticks in there. If we had a tractor with a brush hog, we'd be able to cut that back, and we'd all have better access. Welcome to Sibley Farm. At 325 acres, there's a lot of land up here. Now these fields are being mowed by a professional farmer for hay, but that doesn't change the fact that we have an enormous number of trails, paths, and they're used for everything from snowmobiles to horses to the Midstate Trail. For the sake of the volunteers, in terms of moving things around, for keeping the paths open with a brush hog, and quite frankly, dealing with things like erosion control and moving tractor after tractor of hay bales to stabilize a slope where it's getting beaten up. A tractor would be enormously helpful here as well. These are the two access points that the Greater Worcester Land Trust uses to access Crow Hill, Crow Hill North, and Ecotarium West. This is an area that we've been cutting back by hand with volunteers. It'd be great to be able to have the volunteers working on projects on the trails and the signage instead of having to keep after the grass. If we had a tractor with a brush hog, we'd be able to invest that time where the volunteers are making an even bigger impact. This would be a great spot for a tractor. Welcome to Worcester Hospital Farm. This is the last piece that remains of the former mental hospital in the city of Worcester and the massive farms and grounds that surrounded it. As you can see, it's growing in. And it's no longer a haying field. It's becoming a tall meadow. And soon, if it's not cut, it'll become forest. At this point, we still have an option where we can retain one of Worcester's last agricultural farming fields, a haying field, here off of Plantation Street in the center of Worcester. This is the sort of project we could do if we had a tractor.
Thank you for taking the time to go with me around to a bunch of different land trust properties to take a look at different ways in which a tractor would be really useful. Everything from moving timber, moving hay bales, caring for animals, reclaiming fields, establishing public access, and quite frankly, retaining a little bit of agriculture right here in the center of central Massachusetts in a big city. All these things and more make it really compelling to try to have a tractor, and that can only happen with your support. Thank you very much.